Hey everybody, Jewel back with another super cool astrology video. And today we're talking about the composite sun in the fourth house and what that's like when we have this going on in a relationship. So, the sun in a composite chart is really, you know, where a lot of the energy is being expended between two people. It's the shared goal, you know, the common, um, the commonality between them, what they're really, you know, um, going after as a team. Um, where a lot of the, the uh, you, you know, the, the focus and the energy is in the relationship. And it's really, you know, the kind of the, the steering wheel of the relationship. So when we have, you know, the sun, you know, the, the, uh, the big body of the relationship coming into the fourth house, you know, this is the house of um, intimacy privacy, family, um, you know, it was originally represented by cancer and, um, you know, it's a, a, a it's where our, um, our most private, um, our most uh, private intimate selves lies really in the fourth house and um, about domestic activity, nurturing, caretaking, nutrition, those are all fourth house things. So there is a very common domestic goal when we have the composite sun coming into the fourth house of domestic activities. Um, there's a, you know, very like-minded about home manners, uh, home matters, um, very, you know, much on the same page when it comes to how to build a home, how to run a home, um, what they are looking for in a domestic environment. Um, these two, uh, typically, you know, you will see children here. There's a real, um, drive um, to nurture and to raise children, to, to have a family, you know, whatever type of family that is. Um, and uh, most of the time, you know, we see children between um, people that have this going on in a romantic relationship and a real understanding of how to live together peacefully, how, um, how to, um, you know, be a team when it comes to things having to do with uh, children and, and domestic life. So, you know, a real shared bond of um, a, a real sheltering quality to their um, shared bond. It's very much, um, there's a very close, intimate understanding between these two people. Um, very intimate feelings towards each other. Trust is very thick in these relationships. Um, they really want to, you know, build a shelter together. Their their relationship is very much, you know, seen as, you know, this this private, you know, shelter that, that they have um, put together for, you know, both their benefits. And they're very much about um, protecting each other and protecting their um, relationship from the outside world. So there's this real, you know, feeling that their dom their domestic life is like this real, you know, prized, um, intimate um, thing. And then they go out, you know, into the big world and earn and get and um, interact. And then, you know, they, they know that they have this um, wonderful, shared, you know, soft place to fall. Um, to come back to with uh, this relationship that they have going on with the composite fourth house. And there's just a real inherent understanding between two people. This is um, one of my favorite positions to see the sun. One of the, my favorite places to have the composite sun. Um, it, it really lends a lot of success to a domestic partnership. The fourth house sun and the eleventh house sun are really, really great when it comes to a uh, long-term understanding and a feeling of commonality between two people of, of really being on the same team. So um, this is my analysis of the composite sun in the fourth house. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with more amazing videos. I'll be wrapping up this um, series fairly quick and my Moon in the Houses series and moving on to something else super cool. Um, you can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com. You can find me on Facebook at Truth and Aspect Astrology. And check out my business partner, Seth Roback. He is also here on YouTube with a lot of neat videos. And I'll be back soon, soon, soon. Bye-bye.